We've now outlined the greedy algorithm for learning a decision tree. The first thing that we're gonna explore is this idea of picking what feature to split on next. Uh, we, did, we split in our example on credit first, and uh, if we could have split on some different feature, how do we decide what to do? And it turns out that this feature uh, selection problem, this feature splitting learning problem, can be viewed as the problem of learning what's called a decision stump, which is that one level on decision tree. Um, you know, for those not familiar with it, you know, a tree is kind of this really big thing, but if you cut it, you're only left with the little bit at the bottom, and that thing is called a stump. So it's a really, really, really uh, short piece of a tree. So how do you learn a decision stump, or a level one decision tree from data? So we're given a data set like this, just like we had before, and our goal here is to learn a one level decision tree. So we're given um, the top node or the root node of all of the data. Some of the data points are safe, some of the data points are risky. Uh, there's 40 examples in our case, and it turns out that 22 of those are safe loans and 18 are risky loans. That's what our data set looks like. Now I have a histogram, but as we're building these figures, they can get really big and complicated, so we're gonna compress it a little bit. Instead of showing the histogram and the numbers 22 and 18, I'm just gonna show you the numbers 22 and 18 to simplify the visualization. So now when you see that root node, you should interpret it as we have 40 data points, 22 are green, which is uh, safe loans, 18 are orange, which are risky loans. And starting from there, how do we go and, uh, and build that decision stump? So in our case, we had all the data, uh, we split on credit, and we decided that some subset of the data had excellent credit, some had fair, and some had poor. So uh, we, uh, we assigned each one of those subsets to the subsequent node. In our new kind of visualization notation, we have the original root node with all the data, 22 risky and 18, um, sorry, 22 fair, 22 safe and 18 risky. Um, for X and credit, we have a subset of data where nine of them were safe and zero were risky, so nine in green, zero in orange. For fair credit, we have nine safe, four risky. And for poor credit, we have four safe and 14 risky. So that's what our data looks like uh, at the next level after we've done the splits. These nodes here in the middle, we call intermediate nodes. Now, for each intermediate node, we can try to make a prediction and decision stump. So for example, for poor credit, we see that the majority of the data in there has risky uh, associated with it. So we say that that's a risky, pre uh, we predict that to be a risky loan. For fair credit, uh, we see that the majority, nine versus four, have, um, sa were safe loans, so we predict that to be a safe loan. And for excellent credit, we predict that to be a safe loan because nine versus zero, so nine safe loans in there. So for each node, we look at the majority value to make a prediction, and you've now learned your first decision stump. It's a pretty simple one. Um, but to get better predictions and more accuracy, we're gonna explore that uh, more and, uh, and split further. But before we split further, we're gonna discuss why we picked uh, credit to do the first split as opposed to say, for example, the term of the loan or income.